Have you ever wondered what would happen if all the glaciers melted at the same time? Imagine a world where the towering icy peaks of the Himalayas or the majestic frozen wilderness of Antarctica are no more. Instead, you're left with a vast expanse of water where those awe-inspiring glaciers once stood. That's a world without glaciers, a scenario that could become a reality if global temperatures continue to rise. Let's take a moment to understand what glaciers are. These are large, slow-moving rivers of ice accumulated from centuries of snowfall. They are found in mountain ranges and polar regions around the world. Glaciers are more than just beautiful landscapes. They play an integral role in our planet's health and climate. Now, here's a surprising fact. Did you know that glaciers store about 69% of the world's fresh water? That's right, almost three quarters of the planet's fresh water is frozen in these ice giants. But as our planet warms up, these icy reservoirs are starting to drip away. You see, global temperatures have been on an upward trend for decades. This increase in heat is causing glaciers to melt at an unprecedented rate. And as they melt, they release their stored water into the oceans contributing to rising sea levels. But it's not just about rising sea levels. The melting of glaciers has a domino effect. It affects weather patterns, wildlife habitats, and even human communities that rely on glacial melt for their water supply. If all the glaciers were to melt, we wouldn't just lose an essential source of fresh water. We would also see a dramatic shift in the world as we know it. Entire ecosystems could collapse, and the landscapes we've grown up admiring could change beyond recognition. So next time you see a picture of a stunning glacier, remember that it's not just a pretty sight, it's a crucial part of our planet's life support system, and its future hangs in the balance. The melting of all glaciers could dramatically shift the world as we know it. But why are these giant ice structures melting in the first place? To answer this, we need to delve into the heart of the matter, global warming. It's a term we've all heard, but what is it exactly? In simple terms, global warming refers to the long-term heating of Earth's climate system, a phenomenon largely driven by human activities. You see, every time we burn fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas, we pump carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. These gases form a sort of invisible blanket around the planet, trapping heat that would otherwise escape into space. This process is known as the greenhouse effect, and it's causing our planet to heat up. But let's relate this back to our icy giants. Glaciers are sensitive to temperature fluctuations, so as global temperatures rise, glaciers unsurprisingly begin to melt. And this melting isn't happening at a leisurely pace. No, it's happening at an alarmingly rapid rate. Now, here's where things get a bit more complex. There's a feedback loop at play here. As glaciers melt, they expose dark water. Unlike the reflective ice, this dark water absorbs more of the sun's heat, which in turn leads to more warming and subsequently more melting. It's a vicious cycle, one that's accelerating the rate of glacial melt worldwide. But it's not just the burning of fossil fuels that's the problem. Deforestation, industrial processes, and some agricultural practices also contribute to the increase in greenhouse gases. These activities release substantial amounts of other potent greenhouse gases like methane and nitrous oxide, further exacerbating the problem. So you see, our actions, our choices, and our way of life have a direct impact on these icy behemoths. They're not just melting because it's their nature, they're melting because we're turning up the heat. And the consequences, well, they're more far-reaching than you might think. Our actions have a significant impact on the health of these icy giants. So, what happens if all these glaciers melt away? Well, let's dive right in. Firstly, let's talk about sea levels. Glaciers are gigantic reservoirs of frozen fresh water. Now imagine these enormous icy behemoths turning into liquid. That's a colossal amount of water being added to our oceans. The result, a substantial rise in sea level. To put it into perspective, if all the glaciers in the world were to melt, sea levels could rise by as much as 20 feet. That's about the height of a two-story building. This potential for a significant rise in sea levels brings us to our next point, coastal flooding. Many of the world's most populated cities are coastal. New York, Shanghai, Mumbai, and countless others all perilously close to sea level. A rise in sea levels would put these cities at risk of being partially or completely submerged. The consequences would be catastrophic, with millions of people displaced and untold billions in economic damage. But the effects of melting glaciers don't stop at sea levels and coastal flooding. They also have a significant impact on weather patterns. You see, the influx of fresh water into the ocean can disrupt the normal flow of ocean currents. These currents play a vital role in regulating the Earth's climate. 
With their flow disrupted we could see more extreme weather events. Think stronger hurricanes, more intense heat waves, and harsher droughts. Now, let's talk about wildlife. Many species rely on cold environments to survive. Polar bears, penguins, seals, and various types of fish are all adapted to life in icy habitats. As these habitats melt away, these species could face extinction. It's not just about the loss of these individual species though. The disappearance of even a single species can disrupt an entire ecosystem, leading to a domino effect of environmental consequences. It's not only the icy habitats that would be affected. The melting of glaciers also means less fresh water available for people and animals living downstream. These regions could face severe water shortages, affecting agriculture and leading to food scarcity. To sum up, the full melting of glaciers would lead to a significant rise in sea levels, resulting in coastal flooding and the potential displacement of millions of people. It could disrupt weather patterns, causing more extreme weather events. Wildlife, particularly species that rely on cold environments, could face extinction. Moreover, regions dependent on glaciers for fresh water could face severe water shortages impacting agriculture and food availability. The full melting of glaciers would have profound effects on the world, many of them devastating. It's a stark reminder that we need to take care of our planet for the sake of our future and the countless species that share it with us. Now that we've painted this grim picture, you might be wondering if there's anything we can do? Well, the answer is a resounding yes. There are numerous ways we can mitigate the effects of global warming and potentially slow down the melting of the glaciers. Let's explore some of these strategies. Firstly, reducing greenhouse gas emissions is crucial. We can achieve this through a variety of means. One way is by increasing energy efficiency, for example, by insulating homes properly to require less heating or by driving energy-efficient cars. Another way is through modifying our diets. Livestock farming is a significant contributor to greenhouse gases, so reducing meat consumption can have a big impact. Secondly, we need to shift to renewable energy sources. Solar, wind, and hydroelectric power are all viable alternatives to fossil fuels. Not only do these sources of energy produce fewer greenhouse gases, but they're also sustainable in the long run. By investing in renewable energy infrastructure and technology, we can make this transition smoother and faster. Thirdly, we should focus on protecting and restoring glaciers. This might seem like a daunting task, but it's not impossible. For instance, some scientists and environmentalists are experimenting with strategies such as covering glaciers with reflective material to reduce the amount of sunlight they absorb, Others are exploring the possibility of artificially producing snow to cover glaciers, which could help to slow down their melting. Lastly, we must remember that every small action counts. Whether it's recycling, composting, or simply turning off lights when they are not in use, these actions all add up and can have a significant impact on reducing our carbon footprint. Of course, these solutions require collective action. Governments, businesses, and individuals all have a role to play in this fight against climate change. We need to work together with a sense of urgency and commitment to bring about the necessary changes. While the situation is dire, there is still hope if we act now. Let's not wait until it's too late. Let's go over what we've learned today. We've delved into the concept of melting glaciers, a phenomenon that is both natural and accelerated by human activities. Our actions, such as the burning of fossil fuels, are causing the Earth's temperature to rise, leading to a faster melt rate of these ice giants, We've also looked at the consequences of this meltdown. As glaciers disappear, the sea level rises, threatening coastal cities and altering ecosystems. Freshwater sources dwindle, affecting millions of people and countless species. But it's not all doom and gloom. We've explored actions we can take to mitigate this issue, from reducing our carbon footprint to advocating for climate-friendly policies. Each of us has a role to play in preserving our icy guardians. The future of our glaciers and indeed our planet lies in our hands. It's time to act before it's too late. We have the knowledge, the resources, and the power to make a difference. Let's use them wisely.